Hi, have you been searching for the pros and cons of living in Katy, Texas? Well, you're in the right place. It's 2024 now. Things have changed since quite some time now. Do you remember how the market was when the pandemic broke out and how it's been completely volatile all these years? So it is a little tricky if you jump into the market head first without adequate support and of course knowledge. However, as an experienced local realtor who's seen Katie grow and transform over the years, I am excited to give you the inside scoop on what life is like in this booming Texas town. So here we go. Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Natasha Carroll from Natasha Carroll Realty, your trusted realtor for all your real estate needs in the state of Texas. We got this question from one of our viewers, so we thought we would address this topic with you today. Let's cut to the chase and get straight in with the first pro of calling Katy, Texas your new home. Pro number one, booming real estate market, it is for sure. There's some exciting news for potential home buyers and investors alike. The Katy real estate market is on fire. Yes, even in 2024, we're seeing a steady increase in property values, making it an attractive option if you're looking to invest in real estate. The medium home price in Katy has climbed to around $380,000 thousand dollars which is still relatively affordable compared to many other major suburban areas across the country. One of the biggest draws for home buyers is the variety of housing options that are available. There's charming starter homes to luxurious estates. The homes for sale in Katy, Texas offer something for every budget and of course every lifestyle. New construction is booming in Katy with several master plan communities offering state-of-the-art amenities and of course, modern home design. So if you're looking to invest in Katy, strong job market is there and the population growth suggests that the property values will continue to appreciate over the years. In fact, according to the recent projections, Katie's population is expected to grow by another 10% over the next five years, which is gonna be driving demand for housing, even higher prices. But the number one con is the traffic woes. Now let's address the elephant in the room, traffic. If you're considering a move to Katie, you'll want to embrace yourself for some serious gridlock, especially if you're commuting to Houston. The I-10 corridor, which connects Katy to downtown Houston, can be a nightmare during rush hour. In 2024, despite ongoing efforts to improve the infrastructure, commute times for Katy to downtown Houston can range from 45 minutes up to an hour, depending on the traffic conditions. The rapid growth of the area has put a strain on local roads as well, with congestion becoming an issue even within Katy itself. But however, it's not all doom and gloom. The city is actively working on solutions. There are plans for road expansions and improvements to public transportation options. Plus, with the rise of remote work, Many Katy residents are finding they can avoid the worst of traffic altogether. Thanks for remote work, of course. Now, the number two pro is outdoor recreation and green spaces, of course. One of the biggest pros of living in Katy, Texas is the abundance of outdoor recreational opportunities. Katy has made a significant investment, of course, in their parks and their green spaces, providing residents with plenty of options for outdoor activities to enjoy with their families. The crown jewel of Katy's park system is the 32-acre Katy City Park, which features walking trails, 
sports fields, and fishing lake, of course. If you love to bike, the 30 mile George Bush Park hike and bike trail offers a scenic route through nature habitats. In 2024, Katy is continuing to expand its green spaces. The city has plans for several new parks and is working connecting existing trails to create a more comprehensive network for walkers and cyclists alike. This focus on outdoor amenities not only provide recreational opportunities, but also contributes to the overall quality of life in Katy, Texas. The number two con, limited nightlife and entertainment options, of course. This has come up several times. If you're a night owl or you're a culture vulture, you might find Katy a bit lacking in the entertainment department. While the city has been growing rapidly, its nightlife and cultural scene haven't really caught up to pace yet, okay? So there are a handful of bars, and restaurants in Katy, but for a wide variety of options for major concerts and events, you'll likely find yourself heading into Houston for those events. This can be inconvenient for some, especially given the traffic issues we mentioned earlier, but of course, it takes time to get there and you will. However, it's worth noting that things are slowly changing in Katy. As of 2024, there are plans for new entertainment venues and restaurants in Katy, particularly in developing Katy Boardwalk District. While it may take some time, the hope is that Katy will eventually develop a more vibrant nightlife and culture scene that will take on a life of its own. The number three pro though, is a strong sense of community. One of the most appealing aspects of life in Katy is a strong sense of community. Despite its rapid growth, Katy has managed to maintain a small town feel with the neighbors who know each other and who attend community events that of course bring everyone together. Throughout the year, Katy hosts numerous events that fosters its community spirit, of course. There's the Katy Rice Festival, a long-standing tradition, celebrates the city agricultural roots with parades and craft foods and live entertainment. In 2024, the city is expanding its event calendar, adding more family-friendly festivities and activities alike. This sense of community expands to local businesses as well. Katy residents, they take pride in supporting local shops and restaurants, creating a tight economic ecosystem. The Farmer's Market is a popular weekend destination, showcasing local produce and artisan goods while providing another opportunity for community interaction overall. The number three con is suburban sprawl and lack of walkability. While Katie's growth has brought many positives, it has also led to significant suburban sprawl. The city has expanded rapidly outward, leading to a car independent lifestyle that some residents find frustrating, of course. Most neighbors in Katy are not particularly walkable. Many of the neighborhoods are not walkable, meaning you'll need to drive for even basic errands that you have to run. This can be a big adjustment if you're moving from a more urban area to the suburbs. And let's not forget about the craft beer scene. Katy is home to several local breweries that are making waves in Texas craft beer world. Spending a Saturday afternoon hopping between tasting rooms has become a favorite pastime for many residents. So if you're a food enthusiast, don't move to Katy without a good appetite. The culinary scene here might just be the cherry on top of your Katy living experience. The number fourth pro here is proximity to Houston amenities. While Katy itself might have some limitations in terms of entertainment and cultural offerings, its proximity to Houston is a major plus. Living in Katy means you have access to all the amenities of the major metropolitan area while still enjoying a more suburban lifestyle, of course. Houston 
world-class museums, professional sports teams, and diverse dining scenes are well within reach from Katy, Texas. The Houston Theater District, the second largest in the country, offers a wide range of performances. For sports fans, catching an Astros game, a Texas game, or a Rockets game, is just a short drive away, so there's no need for you to panic. In 2024, the improvements to transportation links between Katy and Houston are making this commute easier. There are plans for expanded park and ride facilities and discussions about potential light rail connections in the future. So don't write Katy off just yet. The fourth con, of course, is weather extreme. Let's talk about the weather because in Katy, it can be a tent. Summers in Katy's are hot and humid, with temperatures really regularly soaring in the 90s and even hitting triple digits, of course. This can make outdoor activities challenging during the peak summer months. But on the flip side, while winters are generally mild, Katy can experience sudden cold snaps. The area is also prone to severe weather events, including heavy rains and potential for hurricanes. The memory of Hurricane Harvey in 2017 is still fresh on many of the residents' minds. And the flood preparedness remains a concern for many people who moved to Katy. However, it's worth noting that Katy has taken steps to improve its flood migration infrastructure since Harvey. In 2024, several major drainage projects are underway to help protect the city from future flooding events. So, in a nutshell, why Katy certainly has challenges and many residents find that the pros far outweigh the cons. From the strong sense of community to the booming real estate market, from the great outdoor spaces to proximity to Houston, Katy offers a unique blend of suburban charm and big city access. So, if you are considering a move to Katy, Texas, don't let the naysayers discover you from moving to Katy. Come see for yourself why so many people are proud to call Katy, Texas their home. Who knows? You might just find that it's the best place to live in Texas for you and your amazing family. So as you think about Katie, don't forget to weigh those pros and cons and always remember there's always something for you to do with your family. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful in learning about the highs and the lows of relocating to Katy, Texas. If you would like this video and you know more about Texas, please give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you want to learn even more, I have a bunch of videos and a playlist about the real estate market here in Katy as well as in Houston. Just click on the box and the screen to watch those. Also, you can check out the description to watch more relevant videos I have mentioned in the link below. If you want to connect with me directly, of course, my contact information is mentioned in the description box as well. Remember to subscribe to my channel and follow me on all my socials, of course. Don't forget to hit that bell icon so you can get all the updates and be prepared to get ready for some of our new videos. Comment below if you have any questions or send us a message if you have some ideas for videos. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.